Bookmark Magnum. No, it's not a rather large amount of champagne for our literary obsessed individuals. It is the latest break barrel Springer pistol bearing the Browning name. and welcome to AAR On Air and today it's Budget Springer Pistol Time with the Browning Bookmark Magnum <laughs> a Springer that promises build quality and a reasonable power level and that Browning name all for a budget price let's take a look shall we as always stats first this is 407 millimetres or 16 inches long and tips the scales at a pretty wholesome 1.37 kilograms or around three pounds. The barrel is rifled and is 178 millimetres long. This is all black and a mix of quality polymer and metals. The front has that square shape of the original firearm and houses that rifled barrel. It isn't a silencer or moderator, but this isn't that loud and is a target pistol and isn't intended for hunting and therefore doesn't really need that level of stealth that a silencer would give. The outer covering and front sight is that quality polymer along with the main body and grip. It must be said the ambidextrous grip is really comfortable and is more bulbous or rounded than most of the more flatter grips that are coming out of late. And of course, it bears that Browning logo. The trigger and trigger guard are also of the same material. The trigger is a two-stage item and does have a fairly long second stage. The safety is just above and behind this trigger and is a simple push and it is very effective. You need to push from left to right for safe and right to left for fire and it will reveal the red fire indicator. The action is nicely defined and can be operated with your finger and thumb. The whole pistol is ambidextrous so it will suit all shooters. On the top at the rear is the fully adjustable sight hinting at this pistol's target credentials. It has light encouraging fibre optics and has adjustment for elevation and windage. Not content with that, there is also a dovetail rail along the top for alternative sighting aids, which I am likely to make use of with my poor eyesight. The brake action has quite a tension to it, there you go, and hopefully hints at the potential power coming from this pistol. At this point it's worth noting that there are some claimed figures here, which can often be quite a brave thing to do. I've seen it claim up to 175 metres per second, which is 574 feet per second perhaps a little excessive, and there is some confusion in the handbook, as it also mentions 135 metres per second, which is around 442 feet per second, which is probably more realistic for a sub six pound pistol to meet the requirements here in Blighty. They also state sub 7.5 joules, so I think with all this confusion, we should actually get it out over the chronograph and try and establish exactly what the figures are. Let's give it a thorough test with differing weights and different material pellets. Using a JSB 7.33 grain, it saw 527 feet per second, which is 4.52 foot pounds or 6.13 joules. With 8.44s on board, it saw 460 feet per second, which is 3.97 foot pounds or 5.38 joules. The heavier 10.34 grains saw 403 feet per second, which is 3.73 foot pounds or 5.06 joules. So far then, it seems to be most comfortable with the lighter pellets. 
Time to try some alloys, this time some H&N Barracuda Green at 6.64 grain and it saw 499 feet per second which is 3.67 foot pounds or 4.98 joules. To be fair these are all very respectable figures from this 177 caliber version. For a target gun the speed and flatter trajectory is really what you need and the 7.33 grain pellets will give you a very respectable speed at 527 feet per second. But the takeaway is that whilst not giving the highest power figures, the alloys also gave a very respectable speed of around 500 feet per second. Good news for the future maybe. I didn't have a 2.2 caliber version available, but you can expect similar power level figures. Time to get this out on the range then, over a 10 metre distance, ideally using the 7.33 grain lead and the 6.64 alloys. Here goes. Browning, book Mark Magnum. N -n 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 -n. There's a mouthful, isn't there? I actually quite like these. I have actually shot some of the Brownings before and the bookmarks, uh, which are very popular. I think they're very, very popular across the pond in proper bullet form, 2-2 normally. So let's give it a go, shall we? And brake barrel, quite long, nice. I fitted, to give me a fighting chance, I've actually fitted a red dot on the top on that rail, on the dovetail rail, which is really quite good. It's a Vector Optics one. People ask what it is. This is the one. I'll even put the code up if you like. Okay, so, bookmark magnum, 10 meters. We're sort of getting in and out between the reins. And what, means, what it means is that the wind starts just before it starts to rain. So it has been quite breezy. So it's gonna be a real test for this one today. But nonetheless, the show must go on. So let's have a go, shall we? <laughs> I love to see them when they smoke. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to do it off a rest. People complain about my rest. I don't care. I get reasonable results from it. I've got a sandbag as well, so I can try that if necessary. I'm going to do it with the lead pellets and I'm going to use the green stars. And we'll see how we go. That's not bad for a start, is it? <laughs> I can't do that twice. Let's give it a try. Blimey, if that is, that's, that's good. To be honest, non-springer shooter. I keep saying that, but I suppose I'm losing that excuse. Shot quite a few recently and I've enjoyed them. In some respects, I enjoy these pistols. just as much <clears throat> if not more than some of the rifles sometimes this is where i originally started as did a lot of people It is actually coming together. This gun is more capable than I am, to be perfectly honest. 
<laughs> it really is. Sorry, I'm just going to get carried away here. What I'm supposed to be doing now is trying it with the aluminium pellets. So, we've got another target out there. I oh, will try it with those. Right, new target out. Trying the aluminium pellets in it now, because we may all be forced to use them at some point. Now this is going to be a lot lighter. I haven't changed the zero on the red dot, so we might be slightly out, but it's the grouping that we're interested in. So here goes. Ah, the first one I'm allowed. Now I'll change the aim point somewhat to compensate. Mmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Makes a slightly different sound. Maybe it's just me. Now it's going to look a little bit odd because I'm in sunshine and because the way the trees are the target is very much in the shade. Now it wasn't filmed on a different day or anything like that it's just in the shade in fact you can start and see the dapple light on there. You know what, it seems to uh, quite take to these alloys. Yeah, it really does. It's quite an accurate little gun. And this is sub 150 pounds, UK. That's not bad at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wind's getting up. Same hole. That's grouping really well. I'm just going to have to give up because I'm just keep shooting these. I'm quite impressed. Let me go and get it. Original one shot with lead. Starts to form quite a group there. It's a pistol, so <laughs> out at 10 metres, and I'm not really a pistol shooter either, but I think that's quite useful. Then you put the alloys in, and they're really starting to group quite nicely, all in one place. A couple out as I'm getting used to it, but consistently at the end, that really quite likes those alloy pellets. Yeah which is comforting really for what's about to come. Bookmark Magnum, not bad at all. I quite like that. Not a lot of money for quite an accurate little gun. Back to the studio. Pretty good and above all, really enjoyable. This is a nice pistol to use and practice with. The weight and feel is very good and you have loads of sighting options that are available to you. And even with the standard bright open sights, a lot of adjustability. Naturally, you don't need any other power supply such as CO2s or air tanks, just a bit of human effort. At under £150 UK, 
this does represent really good value and you have a quality feel to it not forgetting the browning label that is linked to it as you've probably gathered i've enjoyed this one and at this rate i'm gonna be finish up being converted to springers well if the old elbows can hold out it may be if you've enjoyed it please give us the old thumbs up subscribe hit the old alarm bell join in the chats and forums and of course there is the aar website don't forget to get yourself over to the new aar news channel and subscribe while you're there for future gossip news and snippets of information a big thank you to Vector Air, as always, for getting hold of this one for me to review. And of course, a big thank you to all you guys for watching and supporting the channel with the super thanks button. Hmm. Stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully, I'll see you next week. Bye for now.